Hey guys, I'm just gonna throw together a little update video about what's been going on on the channel, kind of like what the, the coming car show season is looking like, racing the Camaro, um, kind of all that stuff. Today, uh, if the stars would have aligned, which it didn't, um, I'd be putting the Ford in a show called The Motorhead Madness. It's like one of my favorite shows out of the whole year. It's an indoor event that happens at, uh, we call it the deck. It's D Duluth Entertainment Convention Center. And, you know, so it's a big, cool indoor thing. It's really well put together. Um, and uh, it is pretty early in the year. You know, it always happens uh, mid to late March. And that is a tricky window of time. You know, if you don't have a way to trailer your car in. So oftentimes you're driving on salty roads or you're sort of subject to whatever the conditions are. And in this case, uh, this winter has been one of the highest snowfalls that we've had in a very long time. And we got slammed with another snowstorm here very recently. Last week, we had a ton of snow come down. This week, we had a pretty decent amount. <laughs> so uh, we also had a, a lot of melt, and then now today is a bit of a deep freeze. So it went back down to single digit temperatures. So everything is just frozen rock solid. So I've been you know, kind of on the fence about whether I was gonna be able to get the Ford down. And the fact that we got that extra snow <clears throat> and then it froze has made it just, it's not going to be possible for me to get the Ford out of the garage, down the alley, and then back up uh, at the end of the show. It's glare ice. There are um, terrible like ice ridges. And when it gets this cold, you're not chopping through that. You're not clearing these kind of like ruts out. So there's just not a good way. In fact, there's such a berm at the bottom of it that I had to put the Forerunner into four-wheel drive just to get over it. So that's not gonna happen with the Ford. So unfortunately, it means that that thing's not gonna be in there. <clears throat> now let's talk a little bit about what we got going on for the 2023 season. Uh, so my game plan is, uh, so Brian and I are putting together one really awesome event. Um, it's the Black River Rally. Uh, Black River Road Rally? River Rally? I can't remember what our final name of it is. <laughs> Very small event. It's super cool. It's uh, kind of a, it's meant to be sort of an exclusive thing. We're starting off with a private track day um, at the Black River Motorsports Park, uh, doing autocross style events. And then afterwards, we're cruising as a group down to a really awesome little resort in uh, Wisconsin. And that's gonna be super cool. We've got a private bar. We've got like, I think 17 or 18 rooms now set aside for all of that. And that's completely full. Um, so we got that going on. Uh, Machines and Caffeine will be back as well. For sure, we've got one date locked in. Um, I really would like to try and do a second date. Um, so I don't know, we'll, we'll be updating on that. But as of right now, for sure one date, We'll see if we can pull off a second one or not. Now, the projects. Uh, so yeah, a lot of stuff has kind of been um, kind of up in the air about what things I'm gonna try and tackle on the Camaro and the shoebox. Um, like we talked about in the previous video, the plan with the shoebox is to kind of keep it simple for the time being. I still need to get more miles on the thing. I still need to work out the sniper EFI issues that it was having. Seems like I maybe figured it out here in this last fall, but I just need to get more miles on it to get some confidence back in it because after it had some drivability issues, it really hurt the confidence in the system. Made me start questioning whether I should swap to a different EFI system, but we might've figured it out. So we're gonna put some miles on that thing go to as many car shows as possible um, and make a few like subtle changes with it, mostly interior stuff probably. Uh, as far as the Camaro goes, <clears throat> the Camaro it's been a matter of like how much do I wanna try and tackle. So as of right now, I've got a bunch of interior pieces that are gonna be coming in and I'm leaning towards prioritizing the interior on that thing because I got issues with the driver's seat. Um, I've got some console pieces that are broken. Um, I want to put my steering wheel in it. I need to fix the, um, the turn signal stock. Bunch of like little things. So it makes me think that actually maybe working on the interior might be a good idea for this year. I really wanted to do this suspension, but what I'm looking at doing for suspension is very costly. So I kind of need to prioritize 
right now. And as anybody knows, uh, basically the cost of living is absurd right now. And it's not super comfortable to be spending thousands on the suspension setup right now. So kind of up in the air about that. But for sure, I know that I've got a handful of interior things that are lined up that I'm going to be doing to it. I am definitely going to be changing the color of it this year, most likely wrapping it. So that'll be a lot of fun showing you guys kind of how I'm going to vinyl wrap the thing. Um, and then, of course, we've got a ton of track events that are coming up. Uh, so, you know, you can check out Greenlight Filming. That's my buddy Brian. Uh, it's where we host a lot of our events and he's lined up quite a few autocross events this year for at the track and the Camaro is going to be at all of them if if I can pull it off. So that'll be cool. Get a lot more seat time on that thing, make a bunch of noise with it, tear those tires off. So it should be a good time. I'm going to try and get the Camaro into the garage here really shortly. Um, I've got one last little fab, sort of fab tool task that I need to finish up that's going to be in, made into a video. And it's a, basically, so I've got a bead roller that has been just a clunky big tool that's floating around the garage that needed a storage system for it as well as it needed, um, you know, like a way for it to be attached to a, a workbench. So all of that's going to get ironed out here um, in the next week or so, and then the Camaro can go into the garage again, and I can actually start tearing into it and working on it. So, there it is, that's the game plan. I would hope that in the next month here, you'll start seeing videos that'll be specifically on the Camaro. Um, stuff that'll be done to the Ford, probably a couple of months out. Um, I wanna lower it just a little bit more, and then of course start considering some of the interior stuff as well. Um, so anyways, thanks guys for tuning in. There are a lot of videos coming out here. Um, the ones on the cars, it'll just be a little bit longer before those are out, but it's very much there's things in the queue. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys later. Bye.